This is David Bernstein from the Fredcast. We're live from the show floor with Interbike TV. We're here with Scott Struve from Cannondale. Scott's the global director of marketing and we're standing in front of a sweet looking mountain bike. Tell us about this, Scott. Okay, uh, this is our RZ140. Uh, it has 140 millimeters of travel from front to rear. It has our notorious lefty head shock technology. Um, this is actually equipped with what we call push button rebound or PBR. Um, simply press a button and it locks it out, press another button and it, it pops it back into suspension mode. Um, it is the, the lightest fork in its class. This is a, a carbon fiber monocoque front triangle uh, and an aluminum backbone. Um, it's, a, it's got a super stiff pedaling platform and um, it's what I would call an all-around fun bike. 140 millimeters of travel means you can you can do a lot with it. You're not going to go. It's not a huckster bike by any means, but anybody can have fun on this ride. So I've got to ask you because a lot of people have asked me in the past about the lefty design. Mm -hmm. They look at it and they say, well, "There's only one leg. How can that really be strong enough for me?" What do you say? <laughs> Uh, it's actually the, the, the lightest and stiffest platform on the planet and it's super strong. It's actually a square stanchion in, inside, of a, inside of a square tube. So there's no, there's no uh, what we call stiction, so mm -hmm. there's no twisting. And you've also got a, a 12 mil millimeter through axle down at the hub. So instead of a spindly little uh, quick release, you've mm -hmm. got a, quite a bit of stiffness and, sh and strength down there. Um, plus, I mean, the, I guess the most obvious way I can put it is think about how you uh, mount the, the wheels to your car. It's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it makes sense because you, you're only mounting the wheel on your car from one side as well. Yeah, fighter jets, uh, uh, BMW motorcycles, a lot of people do the same thing for the same reason. It's good enough for a fighter jet, it's good enough for your mountain bike. Let's exactly. take a look at this road bike here. Now, this one is in liquid gas colors. Tell us about that. And this is actually the bike that uh, Franco Pelizzotti won the Polka Dot Jersey King of the Mountains. In the ultimate version of this bike, um, which is very lightly specced, I'll say, mm -hmm. uh, it's 12.5 pounds soaking wet, which means it's under the UCI limit and we have to uh, we have to do everything we can to, to be legal with this bike. But, but if you're going to buy this bike, you don't have to add weight to it, right? <laughs> no, no. In fact, uh, for guys like me, it's actually better that way. Yeah, right. Um, but it's a, it's a full monocoque front triangle, um, and we use a, a, what we call a carbon overwrapping technology in the, in the junctures to, to, to bond the two triangles together. Mm -hmm. And it's essentially the, the lightest and, and stiffest way to do it. Um, it has our proprietary, I won't say proprietary, but industry, industry, industry changing uh, BB30 and SI hologram crank set, which is the lightest and stiffest crank set on, available in the market. And overall, it's a, it's a very, very lightweight platform. Now, for those who aren't, aren't familiar, tell us a little bit more about the BB30. Uh, BB, the industry standard for, I'll say, the past 20 years has been, has been a 24 millimeter, uh, or 24 millimeter diameter mm -hmm. um, down at the base. Uh, about 11 years ago, uh, we changed to uh, 30 millimeters because the, the wider you have a, a tube, the stiffer it is, um, which means you get a much more efficient and explosive uh, pedaling platform. And, and I, I lifted this bike when you took it out of the truck. I, I mean, it, it weighed like air. There was nothing there. This one's actually at the UCI limit, so it's at 15 pounds, and a lot of that has to do with the, uh, I'll say, the deep dish wheels we've got on it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we did, in the Tour of California, have to add weight to the to, uh, Ivan Basso's bike to, to meet the UCI limits. Wow. The first thing they'll do is put it on a scale. Now, speaking of lightweight, let's look at this mountain bike over here. Okay. We'll move over to the Flash. Tell us about this bike. This is uh, one of those things that I'll, I'll call industry changing. Um, it's a hardtail mountain bike, full carbon fiber, um, but it's actually, it only weighs 17 pounds, which me makes it the lightest uh, mountain bike on the planet. Um, it, it uses what we call continuous fiber design, which means carbon fiber wants to be as straight as possible in order to be as stiff and as lightweight as possible. Uh, the straighter it is, the less of it you have to use on a bike. So, this has continuous fiber strands that lead from the head tube all the way down to the dropouts. And that's what gives it its superior stiffness and obviously uh, it's super lightweight. Now would you say that this is a cross-country bike for long distances? Describe the kind of riding that you might want to do on this bike. Yeah. Uh, this thing is built for speed. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's, it's built for high intensity efforts and I tell you when, when you get a chance to ride it, it's like riding a, it's like riding a Super 6 on dirt. If, if that helps describe the experience, but it is, it is an explosive, explosive, uh, super efficient, uh, lightweight cross-country machine. Again, with the lefty, but a slightly different fork in this case. Tell us about that. 
Yeah, this uh, this actually it's a, it's a lighter way to to, to lock out the, the travel. It just has a, a quick flip right here. But this has 100 mil, 100, oh, 100 millimeters of travel versus versus the 140 that the lefty does. Full carbon structure and a, literally two pounds soaking wet. So it's it's the lightest in its class. So one of the things that I noticed here at the outdoor demo is you've got a huge tent and a huge stable of bikes. How many bikes are in there? Uh, Every year we've pr pretty much got the, the largest presence here at Outdoor Demo because we truly believe that for you to to, to, to want to buy a Cannondale, you have to experience it for yourself. So uh, we've got 185 bikes underneath the big top here. This is the, the fourth year in a row that we've had the largest presence out here. Um, we always uh, demo probably more bikes than, than any of the other brands simply because we want people to get out and, f and feel the technology that we're making available to them. And, and I know I'm going to be back to test both of these bikes as soon as I can. So, yeah, Scott, thank you very much. Tell where they can find out more about Cannondale. Uh, Cannondale.com, and by all means, one of the things that we always try and do is support our dealers, so your local Cannondale dealer. Perfect, excellent. Scott, thank you very much. Good luck at the show. This is David Bernstein from the Fredcast for Interbike TV, live from the show floor.